Hello, everybody. I think all the madness from outside is over. But now there's madness in the hall. And there's still cars driving up and down my little tiny street. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is the third... And that dog's still crying. Jesus. This is the third time I've tried to record this. Luckily for me, it fucks up really early. So, I'll know soon. But anyway. So, I'm unpacking this room. I'm trying to get all my stuff out. Okay. And I find a tote, okay, that is full of my writings from, like, the time I was a kid till about maybe 02. And it's full. It's a big-ass box, okay? So I thought I would go through some of this cringy-ass shit. Because I know you like cringy ass shit. Cringy ass shit. Okay? So, I haven't looked through here yet. Aha! This is the poetry I was writing back in 1999. Um, this is cool because I haven't looked at this stuff in forever. And I used to draw a lot. Um, not in this one, though. Um, <clears throat> so I used to love these Mead composition books. I don't know why. I just loved that it was like, I could say exactly what it was, blah, 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 blah. And it just had the black spine. And I could just put them up in my bookcase. I have tons of these. Um, but yeah, so my poetry during this time was very um, Edgar Allan Poe inspired. Like everyone's poetry is when they are 18. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's one. This one is short, and that's the only reason why I'm reading it, because all the other ones are like, damn, Homer, the Odyssey. Okay, this is The Lighthouse Called Myself. A spinning small light in the cold, dark night. No real focus or destination. Letting all know its operation. Alone by itself in a desolate place in a dark, lonely, disastrous landscape. Isolation, isolation, alone in the dark, but stuck in the ground, no quest to embark. See, place and landscape don't rhyme. Um, so, yeah. That was fun. Good stuff, right? Um, yeah, pages and pages of... Oh, wow. <clears throat> I didn't know I was writing that as a poem. Oh, this is hysterical. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. Poetry book from 1999. And it sounds like madness outside. What else is there here? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what is this? <gasps> oh, this is a story that my dad wrote and um, gave to me. Oh my gosh. Hey, guess what, guys? In October of 1989, this motherfucker got a citizenship award. I get to go to Skate Junction. Shit. God damn it. I bet I totally forgot to do that. Ugh, that sucks. Um, no, that's cool, though. Um, my dad's... I, I haven't seen this in years. And that story is really good, so... Uh, what else we got? 
the further in the box I get, obviously the older stuff will be. Uh, okay, this is just a green spiral notebook, and it has, on the first page, directions to Lake Tahoe, because this was obviously before cell phones, so you had to write your own directions. And the rest of this is completely empty, so that's a bonus. I got a, I got an empty notebook. Everything's quite dusty. It's kind of freaking me out. I'm gonna have a sip of Joe. I was really hoping I could find much more cringeworthy stuff. This looks. Oh my god. Oh, this is um, this hardcore band I was in, and for some reason we thought it was hardcore to uh, put our songs in a nice little book. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Yeah, I'm not going to read these lyrics because I didn't write any of these. Um, I was the drummer and producer. Um, oh, that's funny. Yeah, I was in a, that hardcore band in high school, like, junior year, I think. Oh, shit. Sweet. I don't know why that's like that. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is um, a f like a flyer for the Mount Ripley Drive, which was um, actually this skull and crossbones is from that. <clears throat> I think this was a flyer that they made and then I wrote things that I wanted fixed or something on it because that's my writing. But this is, uh, we played at the Roxy, I guess, on February 2nd, and then the Whiskey A Go Go on February 16th. So that's cool. And then on the back is, uh, um, <laughs> what do you call it? A uh, receipt from this archaic place called Blockbuster Music. Um, apparently, I needed guitar strings. So that's pretty funny. And then for some reason my horoscope's in there. I did not put that together. I promise you. What is this? Garden Pavilion. I don't know what that means. Oh, this is old. This is cringy stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so these right here. God, I don't even know how old I was. I don't know if you could see it very well. Um, so this was my good guy and bad guy list. Oh. I totally forgot about those two. Okay, so this was my Z-Men comic I was going to make. Um, with uh, Diaper Man and his arch nemesis, Baby Man. And then Strong Man and his arch nemesis, Muscle Man. You get the idea here. Rope Man, Wire Man, Tornado Man, Cyclone Man, Crazy Man, Cuckoo Man. Now, um, Crazy Man and Cuckoo Man, they were rubber chickens that had come to life. And for some reason, I think it's because I watched a lot of He-Man and played with He-Man, that everyone had like a counterpart. Oh my gosh. Dude, my penmanship was better then. Look, I wrote this all out in cursive. Who does that? My my spelling is still great because I apparently don't know how to spell Chinese. Um, Koyako? Wow. Um... Koyako, Insu's beautiful girlfriend, 
has been kidnapped by Wang. Wang has the greatest gang in Japan. Wang has five other people with their own little gang. Um, that's called the Karate V. Or the Karate Five. I don't know. Um, chapter one, the Chinese Kung Fu Men. Chrome Dome is the first guy he'll go against. <laughs> He's bald with a red tank top and black pants. Huh. We, uh, that's enough backstory for me. Um, Insu laid a drop kick in the back of Chrome Dome's head and hit his head in the wall and knocked him out. Then he met, meant Mr. Cleaver. It says Mr. Clever, but I think I probably meant Mr. Cleaver. They called him that because he threw clevers. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Insu dodged them all, then gave him a roundhouse kick and went on to Stick. Stick has a four foot long stick. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, it just keeps going. Oh, the the last thing here. Dagger was next. He threw knives. <laughs> okay. Uh, just so you know, Insu was this dude I hung out with in elementary school. And that's when I was going to Swain Elementary, which meant that this was before fifth grade. So, because fifth grade, I got kicked out. Oh, man, I got kicked out. I took some stupid Facebook quiz like a week ago. And um, I didn't think about being expelled from elementary school. <sighs> so, yeah, I was expelled in fifth grade. So this was probably like fourth grade. How old are you in fourth grade? That's how old I was when um, I wrote that. That was fun. But I thought that was going to be more of the Z-Men. But that was the Karate V. Whatever that means. Um, what else we got? Oh. You are in <clears throat> for a treat. Okay, now I want everyone to realize that this is before the internet. Okay? So, you couldn't look stuff up. So, this was 7th grade poetry thing. Anyway, my poetry book I called A Snork in a Moss Pit. Because a moss pit is where you go to slam dance. Because I didn't know it was mosh pit. Um, and then look at my old school signature. I'm so clever. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, a snork in a moss pit. Okay. Let's go through this. And this was written on a typewriter. Okay. Um, so much so I had to, cause I spelt snork wrong in my title page. Do you want to you hear what I got? Okay, let's see what I got. It says right there. Where's the artwork? I would argue that. I got a B. I know some of your poem took a great deal of time and effort. They are certainly original. Hmm. Um, the other thing that wasn't said on that was that... Um, I got called into the principal's office, and they tried... I'll, I'll tell you that in a little bit. Okay, um... Oh my gosh, look at me being the, the form. So here on my table of contents, we have clustering and pattering poems, alliteration poems, um... Sinquain... 
poems. I think I spelled that wrong. Haiku and Tonka poems. Epigram, that's spelled wrong. Poems. Acrostic poems. Diamante and Limerick poems. And then original. So let's see. Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> so here's my cluster poems. We're not going to read those. That is cringe central. You guys are like, that's what this is supposed to be, you dummy. Um, my alliteration poems. Like this one I just cheated. I just, I picked Z and I just went to Z in the dictionary and just started writing all the Z words. Oh, sex wax. Um, so this is a cool one where I drew an M. Here, I'll tell you what it says. Matt, metal, TV, music, motorcycles, Motley Crue, Metallica, money, moss pit, metamorphosis. <sighs> this is very hard to do, even though I know I was a little dude. Look at this. Where's the artwork? Look at this shit. Look. Look at this. See that? That is that is some artwork. And the sad thing is, I don't think I could do any better now. So let's read this, because this looks meaningful. Birth. Small. Hollow. Pushing. Contracting. Screaming. God's gift of life. 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 Moving, living, loving, rough, tough, about 75 years of eternity. Death. Death. Stiff, pale, creeping agony, lifeless. The next step into eternity. 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 <laughs> Weightless, transparent, flyweighting, lifeless. I'll use that in the other one. Colorless, the end of the everlasting saga, eternity for men. Um, yeah. Man, someone should have been checking my work. <clears throat> oh, and then look at this. We have this guy breaking a guitar on nothing. Just some, like, invisible thing that makes guitars break. And then this guy's like, I'm going to stage dive into this uh, sea of bubble wrap. Um, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That is awful. Um, dude, this is seriously really bad, but it's honestly not as bad as... A lot of stuff on Instagram, so let's let's keep doing this. Man, I spelled a lot of things wrong. Spell check has saved my life, like on my computer. Okay, I don't understand what's going on here, but there's uh, a bed with some dude in it, I guess, and he's dreaming of what might be a frog. So let's see. One day when I was in bed, my girl either left me or I was dead. Once I was sleeping and rolled over in the mid of a nightmare and said, wake me when it's over. That was an album title from Faster Pussycat. So I'm sure I just stole that. I was in bed in the middle of a dream. I think I was a frog because I was green, homie. Something woke me at night. I was looking at my body from the ceiling and I knew it wasn't right. Okay, I'll tell you what. Four little poems there. One of them is true. The other three are not. Oh my god, this is cracking me up. And then I had to even like write the page numbers down. Oh, I, I can't even spell. Oh, oh. Here, just like a real quick. Yeah, bunch of. Okay. This is when shit started getting bad. Okay. Uh, so we just got some scary little stuff here. 
Um, and I had just seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show, obviously. Oh, you know what's funnier than shit? My teacher actually tried to, like, underline a word I'd spelt wrong. Has she gone through the rest of this? Is that the first thing she, like, was like, oh, yeah, that's spelt wrong? Or did she just start in the middle like some weirdo and then, like, be like, there's no saving this? Okay, anyway. So, yeah, I just saw Rocky Horror. Um, most of these words are spelled wrong. This this poem is called The Satanic Mechanic. There once was a <laughs> There once was a mechanic who was satanic. He killed kittens in his attic. He saw a lady one day who was coming his way. The satanic mechanic took her to his attic. Then he was going to sacrifice her, and she got cold and said burr. When he went to shut the window, she struck, and the satanic mechanic's wife became a widow. Wow, I rhymed widow with window. I guess. Um, so then there's... There's one called Trust Jesus, but it's G-use. And did you know that Jesus backwards spells sausage? Did you know that? Um, I don't know why that's what I called this. There's a young lady with AIDS. She got it from a transfusion. Her parents don't care anymore. Her friends don't come over. She's around people with rubber gloves. What a sad thing to happen to such a pretty girl. That's kind of fucked up. I think I did a, the Trust Jesus thing because I just did a satanic poem and I didn't want to get in trouble, which is exactly what happened. And I... Oh. I was just... Okay, so I wrote this big thing called Acid Rain that was going to be like my big metal, my heavy metal song. And um, my teacher said, Don't you think with truth. No, this is fiction, damn it. Obviously. Um, and apparently, <clears throat> the closest I came to um, hardcore um, cussing in this was... Uh, oh, I just wanted to make sure this was still recorded. Um, I, I used the word whores, but I spelt it H... Um, asterisk R-S... So maybe she thought that was hers. But if she read the line before it, she would know. Because this is, acid rain is baking my brain. When it comes, there's too much pain. Acid rain is knocking down my door. Acid rain is doing all the whores. Oh my god, I was so metal. <clears throat> oh my gosh, and you could tell exactly when this was written. Because we have the Energizer Bunny. And the 7-Up Spot. Yeah. Yeah. Artwork. Ah. This, this seems like very much Faith No More influenced that last thing. So anyway, a B. I got a B and I got called into the principal's office with my English teacher and my mom to talk about if I was a devil worshiper and if I was on drugs... And if the dead cat that was found on the football field was my doing, and it wasn't. I've never killed a cat. Never. I think I might have run one over on accident one time, but I've never killed a cat. But we had this big like parent-teacher-principal meeting <clears throat> where they were trying to pin all the shit on me because I wrote a poem that said satanic in it and um, some other shit. I don't remember. That was cringy. You know what? There was a time not very long ago when I was actually contemplating. I'm like, oh, if I ever find that, I should like put that out as like an ebook just to like see how far I've come. There's no fucking way that's ever going to happen. That is rough as shit. All right. <clears throat> oh, what's this? 
we'll just do a couple more here. But this box is like very full. So I, uh, okay. So this is my guitar tablature manuscript paper. Um, so this is probably ninth grade, like 14. Yeah, definitely. Because, um, the songs in here are problem solver. You can die. I haven't thought of that song in forever. Get out. Ran over my teacher. Oh, that's epic. Um, him, poor. Those two songs are really good. I like those. Nonsense, spelt wrong. Tupperware. Outspoken Gregory K. I don't remember that at all. L.I.D. Oh, look, by ninth grade, I realized there was an H in Mosh. Um, L.I.D. That was like one of my favorite songs, dude. Oh, and I spelt chorus wrong. Oh, I spelt verse right. So chorus has an I in it, and verse is spelt right. So that's fine. Uh, belligerence, fright, man-eating sushi. Dude, how did that go? Sushi spelt wrong, obviously. Oh, we had a song called STD. So this was a band called Belligerence I was in. And I think because some of the songs are circled with numbers, this dictates the, um, it's either a set list or the actual demo we went and recorded. Mm, I thought Mom Escape was closer to the front of it than that. nationalist F the mailman that was the funniest song and the reason why is because every time we were practicing the mailman would come and the dogs would start barking and would like ruin our feng shui um tequila spelt wrong question ooh slap so that meant I had some uh I had some slap bass because I played bass and sang in this band um, and then there's some cool artwork in here. If you want to see some angsty artwork, um, that's someone fuck yourself, fuck the system. And that's a song called Bacos. And, um, that's a cop car and a ghetto bird. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, Bacos was a song about cops. Um, granny. Siri, oh, Vibro Champ, um, Jennifer's, that's funny, and they, we spelt it backwards, but then I think I accidentally spelt the J backwards, so then everyone would go, oh, we should just put this in a mirror, idiot, <clears throat> and then I started drawing stuff on the title, so like Bluegrass, did Beaver, I don't know why I didn't, do the obvious there, but seed. Um, I can't believe how much stuff's in here. I thought this was going to be like one page of stuff, but um, oh, Hungry Cannibal, a novel. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that song. <sighs> that is a lot of fun. This was fun. Look, a novel. It's on a bookcase. Get it with books. Oh my gosh. Classic. Um, so that was cool. That was really fun. I wonder if I could play those things still. Or would want to. Um, let's see. Let's get one more thing out of here. Because I saw this. And this looks beat as all hell. Okay. This. Look at this. This is what we used to call generic. Okay. This is blue label. Okay, blue label, depending on what store you go to. And then if you went to the store across the street, all of their stuff looked exactly like this, but the blue was brown, and it was brown label. So this thing is just wrecked beyond belief. Oh my gosh. I think I have some poetry here, guys. 
So this had to have been 14 as well. The heat is burning. Sweat is dripping off my balls. It's hotter than hell. Better than Instagram, dude. I'm telling you. Um, oh my god, that is so funny. For some reason, I drew like an outline of like a little map of the quad at my school and put where everyone hung out in case someone needed to know that. So we have the nerds, the seniors, the wannabes, the deadheads, the taggers, the ravers, the stew cuts, the trendies, the skaters. I can't read what half of this says, but obviously I fucked up because I don't have Hessian Hill on here. And Hash and Hills were all metalheads hung out. Not me. I wasn't hanging out with them then. Um, yeah, these are like lyrics too. So, oh yeah, because look. Here's like set lists and stuff like that. So this is fun. What else we got here? Did I draw that? I don't know who drew that, but look. It's a nice little sketch of something. I don't know why someone else would have been drawing. And my... Oh my gosh, I totally remember this. Single white female in Palm Springs. I'm going to guess single white female just came out. Oh, sticky white goo is everywhere. Okay. We won't read that one. Um... Oh, smoking a cigarette in this one. That's fun. Has this been cringy enough for you guys? I'm like just doing stuff. I am deeply confused, but I spelt it confused. I'm deeply confused. Um, I'm still confused. I'm much older and just as confused as I was when I was that age. Okay. So anyway, um, that's basically it. Oh, man. Look at me go. Let's not embarrass her. Um, oh my god, football scores. I guess I was taking bets. God, I was such a little shit in high school. Um, oh. I don't know why this is here, but, um, Guile, Bison, Ryu, Blanca, Vega, Saget, Honda, Balrog, Ken, Zangheef, Chung Lee, Dalsum. Can you guys guess what I was playing? Oh, dude, I did like a whole tournament. What the fuck am I doing here? So, whatever. Ooh, someone's phone number. I don't know if I should call it. Oh, Function. They were such a good band. Love them. Okay, now we're getting kind of weird. That was funny. I went from straight edge to youth group in like one page. And then shockingly, I stopped writing. <clears throat> so, that's kind of fun. But yeah, so I still have this giant effing box here. And what the hell is that? Oh, sweet. My Misfits coffin box set. Gross. Um, yeah, this is cool. I'm going to put this up somewhere now. Um, it's empty because I have all that shit. Other places, yo. But yeah, so um, we'll dig into that box some more as time goes on. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. <laughs>